Hi guys, this is Niels. Welcome back for another episode of how to run Logic Pro in your live show. Um, one thing left to do is uh, discuss the mixer and the output assignments and I want to dive into that right now. So check it out. So here you see my Logic mixer. These down here are all the tracks I have in the session. They're all routed to output one and two or stereo out which is my front of the house output uh, this is um, the sound we are gonna hear on stage on the monitors and the audience is gonna hear uh, they're all read enabled which means they're reading the automation uh, and remember we're doing region automation or track automation so if we ever move a song uh, to the left or to the right for some reason. We don't have to worry about that the automation gets lost. So it always stays with the region that way. So this is what it sounds like having all the tracks open coming out of the stereo output. Uh, however, when we are on stage, uh, I do not want to hear everything. I will have the tracks muted for the musician that are playing. So the front of the house and the stage monitor is only going to play back these additional production tracks. Now for the drummer, I'm using output three and four. He has his own output because he's the only one that's gonna hear the, the click and the count off. One, two, one, two, three, four. Um, this is not gonna go out to the front of the house. It's just gonna go out to the, fr to the drummer. Now you also notice that each of the tracks are sending a signal to bus nine which are labeled music for drums. Uh, this will enable me to add a music to the drum channel. So the drummer can have some of these tracks in his headphones as well, and I can control the level. So I can set this to a level where he's comfortable at and has a good balance between the click and the tracks. Last thing I want to point out is that I like to put a little uh, a limiter here on the output just to fatten up the sound a little bit and control the overall, overall level um, of the whole thing. And that's really it. That's the whole setup for the session. Um, as I mentioned before, um, I will put a link up at the end if you want to download uh, a blank session template from me or you can try create this by yourself with all these episodes. Um, I think I'm going to do one more um, of the series just to talk about some of the pitfalls, discuss some of the things that did happen when live, what to look out for, um, and maybe come up with some creative ideas and, um, and there will be an interesting one because we could maybe <clears throat> have a little dialogue, uh, ideas that you might have how to use the system live. And until then, this is Niels and uh, see you next time. Take care. Thank you.